everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and welcome to my Blu-ray DVD update. There's only a few movies here in this update. One of those movies I bought for myself and the other two movies are a late birthday present from my aunt. But the one movie I bought this update is The Book of Life. And sorry if the lighting looks a little different guys, I actually bought more lamps. So let me know in the video how the lighting in this video looked because I really do want to work it out. Yeah, I bought the Book of Life. It was only like 13 bucks from Target and I really did like this movie. I thought it was very well done. I liked how it explored the history of Dia de los Muertos, you know, the Day of the Dead, your loved ones being dead, living in peace and looking after you. I mean, this movie tells the story very well and it's a nice story for kids that don't know how to deal with the whole Day of the Dead situation. And I think the Book of Life is a really nice way to show that to the youngsters and I think overall it's just a nice film that the whole family can enjoy. I really love the animation. The animation is just beautiful. It's so unique. It's so vibrant. It's colorful. It's inventive. You know, this is from the same creator of the Nickelodeon show El Tigre, The Adventures of Manny Rivera, which is a cartoon I loved when I grew up. So when I heard this was his directorial debut, his writing a directorial debut, I gotta say, he did a really impressive job with it. You know, I really like the cast behind it, how it was told with the story, and it's overall just a really well done animated movie. And now like I said, the next two movies are a late birthday present from my aunt and I do want to say thank you so much to my aunt for giving me these movies as my birthday present. And honestly, I thought it was very nice that she actually surprised me with these movies because she knows how much I really like these movies. So the first movie I'm going to show you is actually American Sniper. This is the Blu-ray. You know what? Let me see if I can turn this off real quick. Okay, hopefully the line is a little bit better here, but this is American Sniper. You know, it's with Bradley Cooper as Chris Kyle, who is the most lethal sniper in all of U.S. history. This was a great movie, a movie that had me at the edge of my seat. I do consider it a 2015 movie, and in my opinion, it is one of the best movies to come out in the year 2015 because it's one of those movies that's just really engaging. Clint Eastwood's direction was terrific. It's one of the best war movies I've seen in quite some time. And man, Bradley Cooper's performance, this guy nailed it. Talk about a strong, grounded performance. Like, I did not see Bradley Cooper once in this movie. I saw Chris Kyle. I saw the man that he was depicting and he really nailed it. You saw the passion through the eyes. You saw the fear that he brought to what this man had to go through in the war and how much the war has really scarred him. So I thought American Sniper was great. I know this has been a very controversial movie. I mean, I will say the baby scene, like really the fake baby scene like I, I still think that's weird that does take me out of the movie a little bit the fact that they use a fake baby which is so weird like it's just so weird but anyways getting past that however this is still a fantastic movie true story I actually had two screenings playing at the same day you know it was either I go to my screening for Black Hat or American Sniper. So I chose to go to my screening for American Sniper over my screening for Black Hat when it premiered around January and I'm honestly glad I made the decision to go to my advanced screening for this movie because it's just incredible. And now the last movie I have to show you in this Blu-ray DVD update which is another late birthday present from my wonderful aunt and that is Ride Along. I know what you're all thinking Ride Along is a piece of dog poop, it's dog crap, it's garbage, it's not funny. I know it has a lot of hate. Honestly, you guys, I thought Ride Along was so funny. I really liked this movie. I thought it was a very funny movie. I laughed so hard watching it. And it could just be because I like these two. You know, you also had John Leguizamo in here. That was really cool. It's kind of funny how I just got this as a birthday present. You know, the same week, the trailer for Ride Along 2 just released. And Ride Along 2, 
I am not too sure about it to be honest. I think it looked okay. There were a few parts in the trailer that made me laugh, but overall, I really don't think the sequel needed to happen. I thought Ride Along was a great comedy just as a standalone. I really don't think it needed a sequel, but of course, a lot of movies get sequels these days. So that's okay if a lot of people hate this movie. You know, opinions respected, I can understand, but I just really had a great time with this movie. So you guys, that's my Blu-ray DVD update. Let me know in the comments down below what did you think of The Book of Life, American Sniper, and Ride Along. And also please subscribe to the Universe of the Bluetooth channel. I highly recommend it because it's a great channel and I'm very happy to be a part of it. This is 22 Tiger Dude here and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!